Hello everybody, this is Dr. K and I wanted to share with you this moment where the sun is coming from behind the clouds because as of right now, as far as the sunset musings, there are clouds. As you can see, the sun rays are coming out of those beautiful I don't know if you can really witness it, but this is something that I call the God's sky, is when the clouds and the sun create these most amazing patterns. Um, so what that means is that we are not going to see the sun itself setting. So I would love to do our sunset musings right here and right now while the sun is so beautiful. Isn't it just amazing? I know. And I just could not not share this with you. So instead of coming later tonight, uh, we're an hour early for our sunset musings because anyway, it doesn't matter. The sun is always there. And this is just such a beautiful manifestation for our special day, for our Earth Day. I, um, I have uh, created a meditation at 2.22 on Earth Day. And I have not been able to post it as to my Wi-Fi. And look at that. The sun is just going behind the clouds. But the, the rays are going to stay. And oh, it'll be just so lovely. So as you are enjoying this amazing view, I would love to, anytime you're watching, really, even if it's tomorrow or any other day, um, as I mentioned a few times, you know, Earth Day as a world day is just a date on the calendar that we have decided to honor this most amazing planet that we live on. Um, I'm always reminded of the view from the very first time the astronauts went into space and they were able to witness this beautiful marble flow from a completely different viewpoint. And it did change. It was a huge step in humanity's mm, up-leveling, if you will, because it changed our perspective. You know, like we thought so many years ago that the Earth is flat and that we're the center of the universe. And then we realize that the Earth is round and there's gravity and then there's sun and there's galaxies. Now we're realizing there are billions of galaxies in the universe. I have this amazing poster in my office and I will take a picture of it when I can and share it with you. It's this huge... Um, it's like a spiral of a galaxy and this little tiny dot as to you are here and it really puts everything in perspective and so it just reminds me that I know doesn't it look like I mean and it's just changing as we go and those rays over there is what I call the God sky so we're going to do our sunset musings with the God sky on earth day realizing First of all, just how precious our planet is, how precious we are as human beings. And I'm always reminded, you know, like the organism, the way we function is there is such a small ratio of optimal function and optimal health, such as the pH is, is very small, 7.34, and the fluctuations of health and illness is so small and that's the same with our planet the capacity to be alive as human beings as far as the amount of oxygen as far as the ozone layer as far as the temperatures day night winter summer or of the planet are such a mm, special ratio that is created for us to thrive as human beings. And so what I would like to ask of just humanity as a whole, today and any day and every one of us is two things. One, to remember that we are part of this magic. We are truly part of this small ratio of optimal thriving. 
and how we contribute to that is not only by honoring our planet but I, by honoring ourselves as being the microcosm within the macrocosm and realizing we are the same the same ratio there the same little tiny bio beings in a way in our bodies as cells and mitochondria and all these organelles you name it it's like the magic that we're witnessing right now with the clouds and the sun and the nature and the flowers blooming right now the same magic is happening within us so it's just a, a, a tremendous reminder for us today to to send the love outward to planet earth and the universe and then turn it look at that it looks like two eyes see like like the, the universe is saying yes i see you i see you and yes please turn the love inward which is the place to start i share this with you and i'll say it again i had this profound realization of, of us trying to preserve planet earth and trying to make things work that we can restore the planet for our you know generations to be able to sustain life in a very optimal way and I, I and it was so clear to me that we must honor the planet earth within us first bring that compassion and understanding and the witnessing of the magic inward first and then naturally we'll be able to support it and honor our beautiful planet and as we're sharing this amazing sunset oh my goodness isn't that just oh it's it's just truly truly spectacular since the meditation I have posted is not coming through, and it's still May, I have three postings happening to come through. But let us all together right now that we're joining here or a little bit later, I hope you end up watching this. If you're coming for sunset, just plug in and watch this one at the same time. And as the sun is peeking behind the clouds again, probably for the last time, let us take a deep breath in honor of every living organism every living cell in this deep gratitude just realize that even the fact that we can take oxygen in and this oxygen is a life force just like the sun is um, and the body knows what it what to do with it it's just like the plants the trees they know what to do with it just having this breath be a profound honor of just life itself and gratitude for life gratitude for planet earth on this powerful powerful day of earth day where the whole earth is celebrating our planet where many meditations and ceremonies are happening to honor this beautiful marble if you have a picture um, do a google search of view of planet earth from you know from cosmos it's such a beautiful reminder of this different perspective of viewing our planet and just deepest gratitude thank you earth thank you sun thank you universe thank you us thank you and um, us coming together it, it creates this ripple effect there's power in numbers and just like on monday there will be a meditation for the full moon by master ko i posted it in yesterday's posting please feel free to sign up he is quite a remarkable human being and there is power in numbers as far as us being able to connect on a deeper level and I'm going to wait for the sun to go behind that one cloud while this spectacular view I mean it's like a movie you know it's like a movie and uh, it's just so beautiful I have been so privileged to be living in Arizona as the sunset is almost daily it's it's like a different it's a different movie every single day and 
there is no same sunset and now the rain has started to come in so we may even have a rainbow for a little bit you guys i'm just so appreciative of every single one of you of um of us just coming together in this beautiful space of peace you know nature is really about peace and understanding and love and compassion and every time i witness the sunset or i go into nature it truly reminds me that nature doesn't you know it's just all about truth it's all about truth and if we ever are struggling or stuck nature is one place to go into to reconnect to the truth of who we are and just today is a special day for that and I am so excited that we got to witness this God sky and this sun setting behind the clouds as our earth day sunset musings. Oh, thank you so much. I am going to leave it at that. I know it is so beautiful. <clears throat> I'm going to just let you guys stay in this beautiful space. I'll wait for the sun to go behind the clouds and you can either close your eyes or watch it with me and just plug into the energy of love and gratitude and as the wind is coming I'm going to say goodbye right now and then when the sun goes behind the clouds I'll turn off our video so blessings and thank you so much for being here happy Earth Day everybody